My name's Annie Griffin. I'm a filmmaker. I'm also a serious fan of the independent music scene here in London. You know, every so often a band comes along that seems to have a direct feed into the collective subconscious. That band for me at the moment is Spunk. Spunk's lead singer is a guy called Seamus Webb. Some people think Seamus Webb is the angriest man in Britain. Who are Spunk? Who is Seamus Webb? Why is he so angry? Why is it so difficult to think about your own anger? Why are we angry? Why am I angry? Why is anybody angry? Let's find out. We love Spunk! Spunk, yeah. it's the best. And the borderline E, the, the singer, Jeff's the stage, was really good. He's got such a vibe from him, real anger. Seamus, he's in touch with, say, my generation's problems. Why do you think he's so angry? Growing up in the 90s, in the late 80s, yeah. you know? It's just that angst thing. Are you angry too? Yeah. What are you yeah. angry about? Life. Same as Seamus. He understands me. He's like me. He's really angry. I have to shag him. So could you not do that while we're filming? She's wearing two boots. Uh, no, we, we arranged this with the, uh, your record company last week, Shane. Okay, and see Right. Corporate suits. Sucking the life out of music. Right. We need Let's talk about Spunk. We're the best band in the world. Best band in the world. Best band in the world. We're, uh, like three real people, three individuals. But we all sort of bring something unique to the creative process. Why is the band called Spunk? We, we always get asked that question. <laughs> well, I think that's a valid question. I mean, people want to know why is the band called Spunk? Oh, God. It's because we stick together. <laughs> that's one, James. Shut up, bro. No, originally we were called um, The Great Unsigned, which I liked a lot. Right, and then you realise that... actually it's my idea. Was that the great outside? But we didn't use it, did we? And Not eventually, but it was good. Just say it was actually my idea. Right. So, so why is the band called Spunk? Because <laughs> 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 it's punk. It's spunk. It's punk. Get it? Right. Spunk. 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 S -punk. It, punk. It's punk. A lot of people sort of think that punk is like a seventies thing, but. If you, if you sort of logically look at what's happened since then, that everybody acknowledges that you hear music right. on a radio. I mean, whether you like it or not, or you admit it, or everybody's got a radio. Right, yeah. right. Let's talk about Seamus Webb. Um, you've been called the angriest man in pop music. Why are you so angry? I'm just... Very angry. And do you know why you're angry? Yeah, I know why. Why? Well, it's my business. Angry at all the corporate music that's going on. Look at dance music. Yeah, we hate dance music. Yeah, I mean, look at it. It's like, you know, press a button, there's a melody, press another button, there's a singer. Yeah, also, it's like two that, buttons, right? I mean, yeah. What are you doing? Well, I've got that down. I'm going to press one of the yellows. No, no, mate. No, because I've got one of the yeah. yellows. No, no, I've no, got no. to. You've already had your two no, shots. No, no. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. You've had your two shots. But if you're going to be like this, because you're like this every time, there's no You've point You've had your two shots. OK, I won't play, I won't play with you. All right. All right, we're yeah, fucking we me off, mate. Why do you think anger was classified as a sin? I have no idea. I mean, I think it's quite... Healthy to just express your anger and get it out, you know. I think Spunk are part of a really long tradition, really. You can go back to sort of um, Nirvana, Grunge, Kurt Cobain. You can go back to the Sex Pistols, the Clash. Um, you can go back further than that to people like Billy Fury, whose name itself was sort of marketed to a certain audience. And how would you trace their influences? Well, I don't think they have any influences as such. Um... I think that's a very 80s way of looking at music. What sort of experiences did you have a young, as a young person in South East London? Uh, I went to school. Right. And, uh, and how, how did you do at school? I ate at school. Did you? She's full of kids. 
children, yeah. Right. And did you feel alienated from the other children? Yeah, they took, they strip you, they strip you systematically of every, everything that you've got, really. They took, right. take your soul away. Right. Either you fight, either you, you can fight or you die, yeah. Right. And did you have, like, more of an interest in music than the other kids? No. Not really. So, so, sorry, James, you're saying that, that, that they stripped your soul at school. How did, how did they do that? They do little things, you know, they know what they're doing. They, they get, they sort of, they try and make your life, they brighten up your life with table tennis tables and then there's no fucking balls, you know. So, so or if there is a ball, it's got a fucking dent in it, you know what I mean? It's unusable, completely unusable. Right. Yeah. You know. right. I mean, some kids get over that sort of thing. I always loved the feeling of smashing someone's teeth in, I've got right. to say. Do you, think, a, do you think you come from a culture that kind of, that supports that kind of violence? Do you feel like you're, you're well, upbringing? They don't, they don't, what do you mean, financially? No, I mean, do you, do you, do you feel like you were encouraged to be, um, to be, to be violent when you were? <sighs> I've known him for a while, and uh, he's a cool guy, but uh, no, it's recently. He's, you know, he's got more angry. It's the band, it's the band that does that to him. Does the band make you angry? No, no, I'm cool with it. Yeah, I'm quite angry. But why do you think Seamus is so well, angry? I don't throw things at all. That's why people don't think I'm angry, but inside I'm angry, yeah. I'm very angry, thank you. Yeah! Fuck me! Move the car, mate! Yeah! Fuck me! Fuck me! Fuck me! <laughs> Move the fucking car, mate! <laughs> Where are we going? Well, <clears throat> we're going to your mother's house, actually. No. We're not going anywhere near my mother. Well, I'm sorry, it's happening. Our people arranged it with your people. It's not fucking happening it because I have not given permission for it. Well, I'm sorry, your management has given permission. Well, I haven't, and I'm I'm um I want to meet your mother. Well, we're I meet don't you. want you to meet my fucking mother. I'm That is it! Well, if we're going, I'm not, I'm not staying to eat, really. I'm just with him right now, and there's absolutely no way he could be at Capital in an hour. No, I'm sorry, darling. Look, he loves your show, and he can't wait to be on it, but not while they're working on their new album. All right. Hi. How are you? I'll just pay for the cab. Not be with you in a moment. I'm waiting, is it, Brian? Right. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. We made it than we thought we were going to be. Sorry. Well, it's just that she said that the documentary was about the band Spunk, not just about the lead singer. It is about the band Spunk. Spunk. Oh, right, so is it possible to do, like, a proper interview, then? Yeah, sure, Gavin, speaking. we can do whatever you want. Well, it's just that, right. uh, you know, me and Hi, Seamus, yes, we always get asked the same question, you know, what colour knickers do you wear, yeah. that kind of thing. It was just nice, no, just to once, to right, do no, a proper fine. interview yeah, where we're not okay. just asked, you no, know, fine, what we have Gavin. for breakfast yeah, and all fine. that. Yeah, fine. What, what, what do you want to talk about? Well, the music. Right. What do you want to tell me? Well, well, just, no, you know, it's, it's really hard. Right. Yeah. Right, um, Sophie, okay. should, we, should we go in? Yeah. Sure. Um, show me ten minutes maximum, OK? Uh, I don't know we will see one, Mum. Ten minutes, we'll be fine. Maureen, hi, hi Alan, how are you? I'm nice very to see well. you again. You're like, hi, Mr. Oh, come flying. How nice. are you? Lovely. Oh, my God. Oh, this my is Annie. Big, lovely boy. Hello, oh, Mrs. Hello. Webb. Very nice to meet you. you. Lovely so to meet you, too. Come this on, in. Great come on, in. For us. Thank oh, you. my pleasure. Now, Brian, there's me in the fridge. Gavin, there's what's in the me. door there. <laughs> Only kidding, Henny. Rolls his own, you know. Seamus Declan Webb, would you get your ass in this house here? Take your jacket off and look as if you're staying, will you? Now, Natalie's in the front room. She's been here for about two hours watching the telly. Right. Right, on you go in, make yourself a home. I'll just put the kettle on, OK? Who's Natalie? Yeah, who is, who is Natalie? Yeah, who is Natalie? Yeah. I mean, is she with the band? Well, you want to know the answer to the question? I think you should ask Natalie. In fact, why didn't you go and ask Natalie that in question right now? Go on, go and talk to her now. Sophie speaking. Yeah, I'm, I'm at the Webb's house right now. Could you could you call me at the office a bit later? Okay, yeah, that would be... 
He's lovely, isn't he? I'm awfully proud of him, you know. Here, have you seen his teeth? His teeth? Ah, here, sure, look at that, look. Look, did you see it? He's got an upper front and size are missing. <laughs> is, is, is there a story about that? No, no, really. He just likes folk to know he's no got a front too. I mean, Natalie, I mean, she's sitting in there. She's just adding to the pressure, isn't she? How are we supposed to rehearse with her in there, do you know? Uh -huh. Tell me that. I've got a bloody good mind to tell that bloody Barbie doll mm. thing in there. Mm. You know, cos I'm not... You can't, you, can't, you can't work with it, can you? What happened to Mr Webb? We don't talk about Connor Webb in this house, hen. Oh. To tell you the truth, we're actually better off with him. You know, it's 20 years since he buggered off, but we never really missed him. Better off without him. I am sorry, I didn't mean to pry. Oh, he was the dullest man you'd ever meet in your life. It was a relief. If he hadn't he gone when he did, I would have expired a boredom, I'll tell you. If really? that's medically possible, eh? Really? Well, he was a Bob Dylan fanatic. Huh? And I mean, right from the start, long before blood in the tracks, well, he was a typical Scottish man, you know? Brought up in the church and then football pitch, you know? He never moved on. And of course, then they get a rock star that they just love and they substitute one god for another, and that was him. To him, Bob Dylan was a god, I'll tell you. I, I, I thought Seamus's father was Irish. Do you know, you might be right there, Hen. I'm thinking Jim McNulty, he was crazy about Bob Dylan. <laughs> oh, well, to tell you the truth, between you and me, it was about a promiscuous time in my life. <laughs> I think we should... Seamus, Seamus, if we can try and get one, hey? like, if we can just try one all the way through, and if you can, like, just, like, forget all that stuff that's going on behind you. It's very and, like, difficult, and mate. You, it's very difficult. I know. It's, but you keep focused, right? Because, I mean, I mean, the good thing about what's happening here is that it's anger, you know? And it's like anger is what we need to feel in the track. Oh, so it's a bugger we didn't do on Tuesday, because... Because I was furious on Tuesday. I think what, what, what you've got to try and imagine, I mean, think about it like when you wrote the song, you wrote the song for the first time and, and, and you had all that kind of spite and bile and everything. Yeah. If you kind of, if you can picture that right. and picture that it is embodied in like the head of that microphone, and what you're right. going to be doing is that you're going to be, you're going to be singing and shouting right. at all the hate that is in that microphone. Because it's going to be... This one, yeah? Yeah, right. It's going to be like giving it back to you, you know? It's like it's taking a piss out of you. That's, that's, right? that's it's, it's, it's gobbing out of you, it's spitting out of you, and it's, it's taking right. a piss, right? right? And no one does that to you. Let's go. Right. Is it started spitting at me yet? I came across them a couple of years ago, you know, and I went to the gigs and it was quite amazing. So, I mean, I'm lucky that I'm the first guy to actually produce them as they're just emerging. I think without me, you'd probably have a very kind of primal sound, and I'm not sure whether that's the sort of thing that would ever get played on radio. Then The Face wanted an interview with you on Thursday with photos. Right. Um, they've got a top photographer from Berlin who's coming over to do them, a guy called Gerhard. Okay. Right top photographer. Um, and, and he says he wants to do you in one of those pedestrian underpasses. So his location scout is currently looking for an underpass. Now we may have to go to Birmingham. Oh, oh God, I don't. But I'll let you know. I, okay. Haven't they got underpasses in London? Nice ones. Yeah, they have. But I mean, I think the point is that there are some absolutely fantastic underpasses in Birmingham. What's the sort of uh, the feel? Is it? Well, me, <coughs> all, all of us. I mean, basically, it's a very British, gritty, realistic feel that he wants to get. Thank it is actually all three of you, but he wants you. He wants you to be in the light, okay, and the others to actually be like little silhouettes further back in shadows, the yeah, yeah. kind of shadows, murky in the background. I think the idea is that you're all meant to be muggers, okay? But muggers. Yeah, but you're not a mugger. Or right? a copper. No, you're not a copper. No, the idea is that... I don't want to be a copper. No, it's not, it's not like that. I mean, I think the idea is that it's a kind of a mugger's feel, but the point is you're bursting out into the light, right? And you're oh, obviously, okay. obviously not a mugger, because we recognise you. Right. And you are Seamus Webb. Because I was thinking, you know, I was thinking, because I, I am spun. Yeah. I mean, yes, you are spunk. Yeah. I know he's got his cans off, Seamus, so he can't hear me, right? Right. I think, like, just between you and me, 
I got a base like I got a base in the back here, right? So I mean, if you can just if you can just try and get. Right. Yeah. No. All right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you want me to start off sort of livid or just sort of miffed, and then sort of by the chorus really get furious, and then at that you know the bridge after the chorus, oh, uh, maybe just be a bit sort of. Obviously, I'm still you know wound up, but I'm not as angry as the second well, I, verse. I look after Shamey. We've been together about two years now. And what did you do before that? Before that, I looked after Nick Cave for about a year. And before that, I helped the woman who looks after Damon Albarn. And then later, she was looking after Shamey. And then she actually left to go to look after Liam. And uh, she rang me, and I was ready to hand Nick on, actually. So I said yes, and so here I am. I organise his schedule. I deal with his management. I pay his bills. I do all his banking. Um, I buy his clothes, his CDs, videos, and his drugs. And do the other guys in the band have personal assistants like you? No, no, they have girlfriends. We see the bikes So for, right, like it's fifteen hundred quid a day, right? I'm supposed to be bringing this in on time and on yeah, budget, okay. right? I mean, yeah, yeah. Baby. yes. Oh, keep this on. Ah. I've fucking done this before. I ain't doing it again. Ah. Dave. Yes. Yeah. I'm angry now, mate. So, how long have you two been together? About about two years. Any plans for the future? Not really. No, just... No, don't want to uh, rush into anything. Sort of... At this stage, really, and... She's got her O-levels coming up and that, and... Wait. A-levels? She's got her A-levels. She's got a lot of work to do. So, Natalie, do you ever get fed up with all the um, the touring, never being able to see Seamus, him being away, all the fans who are after him? No. Not really. I don't really, is it? But I'm, you know, I'm faithful to uh, Natalie. I'm going to shag about. But, you know, it's, we, we, you know, we're modern people, you know what I mean? I mean, if I, if I was to say to Natalie, I'm going out tonight and I'm going to, you know, shag someone, like a groupie or something, she's got to allow it. Like, I'm, you know, I'm involved in a relationship, but I'm also my own man, and she can't, you know, it's one thing having, you know, we're together, but... <laughs> There's a lot of birds out there. Do you think the public are hungry for a really angry band? Oh, yeah, I think so. I think, you know... I think there's been a lot of fake anger kind of masquerading, you know, as, as, as the real thing, you know? We played in Newcastle a few years back, um, a place called the, River, the Riverside. We showed up at the, the venue and um, they'd been playing there the night before and the place had been completely destroyed. Yeah, I went to see them play in Glasgow once and the gig was cancelled. They trashed all the instruments that they sing, check. Obviously, Seamus and the other guys or whatever, you know, bring... You know, they all bring their own personality into the whole thing, you know. OK, we're on. Yeah, yeah can we go? Just another Come on, we've got to go. We're on. Fucking toilet. Yeah, I must say, it's not enough room in here. Well, look, I can, can we talk about this later? Can I also we literally say are on now. that this can you, chair can get on? is the, probably the least comfortable chair. Yeah. No, I look, should be sitting there where she's the sitting. The point is you don't need to sit anywhere because you've got to go on. Can, can I we say as chair? well, on, come on, come when on. people have finished with their beers to put them in the chair, because that would help the basic problem. Listen, we're on now. We've got people waiting out here, guys. Can we just go? Have you got any aspirin? Right. Thank you. All right. She's got a laugh, this, has she? OK, can we get going? But can you go? Ow! Come on, Shane. All right, Brian.
talking to Howard on the other line. Um, just turn he, the fuck off. he wants to know what our position on insurance is. Sure. It's rock and roll, Soph. Harvey, can you hang on one second? I would just confirm that with Howard. I've got him on the other line. Why okay, you thank you. We did well tonight. Um, Howard, is 10 o'clock tomorrow morning okay? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Gavin's fine. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Just a bit of glass. I'll, I'll, speak, to you. I'll speak to you later, okay? I've got to sort this out. Harvey, hi. Gavin's Thanks fine. very much indeed. 10 o'clock is absolutely fine. Yeah, we'll see you there. Thanks, thanks very much. Bye-bye. Life. I'm hungry. Pizza Express? Chinese? Yeah. Thai? Stupid prick. Brian, Brian, wake him up. Wake yeah. him up. You wake him up. I'm not waking him up. You can wake yeah. him up. Yeah. You I wake him up. Why do you have to wake him up? He has these uh, recurrent nightmares of suffocation. Really? Yeah. Boys, boys. Of lovers sleeping tight Are rolling by like thunder now As I look in your eyes I hold on to your body And feel each move you make Is warm and tender, a love that I could not foresee. Cause I'm your lady, and you are my man. When I think there are two emotions really. There's anger and love. And, you know, Seamus doesn't really seem to be interested in talking about love. And when we do talk about love, he actually gets very angry. Where the fuck matter? Where the, where the fucking hell is she? Where the fuck hell is she? I don't know, I don't know, mate. Natalie! Calm down, come on. Fuck off! I love my job. That's it. It's the best job in the world. But if you could do anything, anything at all, what would you do? Okay, sometimes, and this is just sometimes, right? I think maybe I could look after Beck. The glory of a band like Spunk is everyone can add their own agenda to it, in the same way they have with Oasis, really. Um, it's because they're kind of like there, looking angry and authentic. People can make it mean what they want it to mean. You can ask where is the music throughout rock and roll. In a sense, it doesn't really matter about the music. It's, it's about what they stand for. Obviously, it's, it's going to be hard for some people to swallow. If knowing what you're about and not taking any shit from anyone, means you're an arsehole, then yeah, I'm an arsehole, yeah? We're all arseholes. Look at British music, you know, look, look at all the rock musicians who, who've made it in, in the world stage, right? All of them are basically arseholes. And Seamus, yeah, he's a great musician. He's as much of an arsehole as any of them.